Hi guys! So today we are going to read a book called Let's Visit the Coral Reef. So here it is. And it's written by Kimberly Brenneman. So you remember yesterday we, we uh, watched a video about uh, what's in a coral reef and then we drew some pictures about what we saw. So today we're going to go through a book and read a little bit more about the creatures that we find in the coral reef. So this book is all about the environment of a coral reef. So an environment is somewhere where living things live. So like our house or outside where the animals live or in the ocean with the coral reef. So what are some things that you know about other environments? What do you know about our environment outside or our environment in the ocean? Think about that and see if you remember some things. All right, so we're only going to read the first half of this book today, and I'm going to read the rest on another day, okay? So let's see. Let's dive right in. The colorful coral reef. In warm, clear, salty ocean water, colorful fish dart and beautiful plants sway. Where are we? So where's this coral reef sit? What are some things you notice about the coral reef? When you pick out some of those things that you're noticing, tell moms and dads, or you can draw another picture of it. And maybe have moms and dads write in our comments under this video what you see and what we talked about. We are exploring a coral reef environment. Coral reef environments are homes to many plants and animals. One kind of animal is the clownfish. Its bright colors and patterns are like a clown's colorful face paint. Let's explore. So this is a collection of colorful clownfish. So what do you notice about the colors of these clownfish? Are they all the same? What's different about them? What different colors are they? A clownfish is about the size of a person's hand. So it's about the size of my hand. Is that big or is that little? I feel like it's a it's little for our ocean, but it might be too big for our classroom. So if you put it in the ocean, it might be little, but if you put it in our classroom, that's kind of a big fish. Why do you think these animals are called clownfish? So why do you think they call them clownfish? Creating a coral reef. Can you imagine a wall? So can you imagine that this wall is made by tiny animals? It's true. Tiny animals called coral polyps create a coral reef. So they create the coral reef, the little coral polyps. Let's see. Look how large the reef wall is. The person swimming next to it is very small. So that's the person right there swimming next to this coral reef. So that's pretty big. And little animals make that. A coral reef is made up of many coral polyps. Groups of coral polyps are called colonies. Coral polyps are shaped like tiny tubes with tentacles at the top. They have soft bodies and hard skeletons. So what are some things you notice about this page? What do the little polyps look like? How do you think they would feel? Would you want to touch them? Some coral reefs are very large. How do you think a coral reef gets so large? So how do you think it gets so big? When a coral polyp dies, its hard skeleton is left behind. The coral reef gets larger as more skeletons are left behind. The coral reef also grows when new coral polyps are made. Coral polyps create their coral reef home. Do you know how um, any other animals that live in the coral reef? So what are some other animals that you know of that live in our coral reef? We drew some yesterday in a picture. Or even in this picture, what do you see? Hungry animals in the reef. Here is an animal swimming through the water and searching for a snack. It's a green turtle. Green turtles eat plants like seaweed and algae. Other sea turtles eat plants and animals like fish and crabs. What do you notice about pic this picture? What do you see? Let's see? 
Do you see this animal hiding in the reef? Does anybody know what it's called? It's this animal right here. Do you know what that's called? Let's see. This is a moray eel. The eel could be hiding to surprise an octopus it wants to eat. It could be hiding from a big grouper. Hiding in the reef protects the eel from becoming another fish's dinner. So sometimes the animals use the reef to hide. It can be a good hiding spot. Maybe they play hide and seek in there. Would you want to play hide and seek on a coral reef? Animal partners in the reef. Oh, it looks like this is going to be for next time. So that was um, where we're going to stop in our book. Let's see, what are some things you remember about our other pages? I'll go back to the beginning. So remember, this is where we were going to pick out some things. And we were going to tell our moms and dads what we saw. Do you remember, what are these fish called? What were these? Clownfish. And this one. For the coral reef is this giant wall. And our little guy. Swim by it. Do you remember, what are the animals called that create our coral reef? What are those little animals called? Coral polyps. All right, so that was the beginning part of our book, Let's Visit a Coral Reef. And we'll read the rest of it another day. I hope you guys had fun. Have a good day. Bye. Mwah.